Hello, it's me, Dr. Alvi, and uh, today I am with a new topic, and uh, the topic is baby of HIV positive mother. Remember, in this video, I'm not going to discuss what is HIV. I'm not going to discuss what are the clinical features, signs and symptoms of HIV. I'm not going to discuss the comorbidities associated with HIV. And definitely I'm not going to discuss the treatment of HIV. The main focus of this video will be on the babies who are delivered by a mother who is HIV positive. What we will do or what is the protocol for these babies? How we will carry on these babies further? How we will manage these babies? And what are actually the protocol for the babies who are delivered by HIV positive mother? So, first of all, first of all, if a baby is delivered by HIV positive mother, the first thing which you will do is you will start you will start a drug known as zero vidin zero vidin zero vidin is nucleoside reverse transcriptase inhibitor we will start a drug zero vidin which is nucleoside reverse transcriptase inhibitor and you have to start this zidovidine within 12 hours of delivery. A child is delivered by a HIV positive mother within 12 hours you have to start zidovidine orally. And you have to continue this zidovidine for 4 weeks. 4 week mean 1 month almost 28 days. In other words I can say that this zirovidine which you have started within 12 hours after the birth you have to continue this zirovidine in neonatal period neonatal period and you know that the first 28 days of life are neonatal period this is the first thing you, 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 you will do and you have to do the second thing you will do that you have to do PCR HIV viral PCR within 24 to 48 hours after delivery and this PCR is first PCR this PCR is first PCR that within 12 hours you have to start zidovidine and within 48 uh, within 24 to 48 hours you have to do the PCR this PCR in 50% of the cases this PCR is positive by one week. In 95% of the case, in 90% almost, 90% of the cases, this PCR is positive by two weeks. So, this was point number one. This was point number two. Point number three. At the age of, point number three, at the age of six week, six week mean that one and half month. At the age of six week or at the age of one and a half month, you have to repeat the PCR. So this PCR was PCR number second. First PCR you did within 24 to 48 hour. Second PCR you did at the age of six week or one and a half month. And at this PCR, you will also start septrin prophylaxis. Septrin prophylaxis. Clear? Point number four. Point number four is this. At the age of three to four months, you have to do the third PCR. At the age of three to four months. If all the these three PCRs which you did, the first PCR you did at the age of 24 to 48 hour, the second PCR you did at the age of 6 week or 1 and a half month, the third PCR you did at the age of 3 to 4 month. If all these three PCRs are negative, then 95%, more than 95% chances that baby is not infected. 
if all these three PCR are negative and if all these three PCR are negative 95% chances is baby is not infected stop septrin prophylaxis which you started at the age of six weeks and you have to stop if all these three PCRs are negative but you still have to keep the baby on follow up until the vertically acquired from mother vertically acquired means that from mother vertically acquired HIV antibodies are negative I said that if all these three PCR are negative stop septum prophylaxis but keep the baby on follow up that the vertically transmitted antibodies from the mother they are negative this was the protocol for the babies who are delivered by HIV positive mother and who became or whose PC all these three PCR came negative the first PCR you did at 24 to 48 hours the second PCR at the age of six weeks and the third PCR at three to four four months if all these three PCR are negative then you have to stop the septum prophylaxis which you started at six weeks and you keep the baby on follow-up to monitor the vertically transmitted antibody till they become negative and at the beginning you start zero within which will continue for four week this was the protocol for those babies who are delivered by HIV positive mother but their all three PCR came negative but if the PCR came positive or the PCR results are positive what it means it means that baby is also infected with HIV now what we will do with such kind of babies now what we will do in this situation so at, in this situation at this situation the protocol is different what is that protocol I'm going to discuss in the part 2 of this video